Demonstrate how to use the DMM auto tuning feature. Um, you, tuning the Phoenix 4x4 router. Um, as you see here, I disconnected the signal cable from the drive, and now I'm putting in the USB cable to the drive. We're going to do the Y axis. Okay, I have this thing powered down. Now let's go ahead and power it up. And uh, one of the things is you want to make sure that your machine is centered in all axis of travel because as the DMM tuning software works, it turns the screw five revolutions. You see I have the Z, I've already done the Z. Uh, it's halfway and my X is halfway and my Y is halfway in travel. So I'm going to go ahead and start the DMM software here. I'm going to connect to the drive. I know my COM port is three. Set the COM port, setting successful. You see down here it says it's connected. I'm going to go into servo setting. I'm using a DIN 4 drive. I'm going to, I'm going to, I can read from the drive first. All the parameters are red. Sorry. All the parameters are red now. Now I'm going to take it to RS-232 from Pulse Dur has to be set that way. I'm going to save it. Saving parameters down here. All parameters saved. I'm going to exit this. I'm going to go into auto tuning. Okay, we're going to it's just warning you it's going to rotate the servo motor. Make sure you can rotate within plus minus 5 revolutions. Make sure e stop button is connected can be immediately shut off servo drive power if needed. In my case, I've got my switch right here. I can power everything down. During auto tuning, do not touch servo motor or machine. Doing so may cause interference with tuning procedure and make sure the servo is tightly coupled to the load. Okay. We're just going to leave these defaults. We're going to go with continue here. And then uh, if the inertia load is 20 times greater, select the high inertia. I'm going to use that. Um, this next one is belt mechanism because it's got a belt on it. And then we're going to use standard default. And we'll leave all this alone and we'll just start tuning. It says make sure your motor can rotate freely within plus minus five revolutions. You could just see it moving. Doing a low frequency sweep right now. High frequency sweep right there. High frequency sweep again. Here's the display. You can hear it doing its things, moving back and forth. That's going to a low acceleration ramp. Now it's high acceleration ramp.
It's almost done. Doing this with my phone on the job site. Okay, it says auto tuning complete. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click OK. I'm gonna click finish. I'm gonna go back to servo setting, DIN 4. I'm gonna set this back to pulse dir. I'm gonna change this back to 1000. That's the way I have my machine set up. And I'm gonna save all. Saving parameters. All parameters saved. I'm going to read it just to make sure. All right, everything's good to go. So I'll go back and I'll reconnect uh, the signal cable to that drive and I will repeat on my X axis next. So uh, that's how you tune the servos on the DMM DIN 4 drive using their utility.